Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Yep, we're doing a six case break of the brand new 2023 Topps Chrome Update Baseball. I got Christopher helping us out right here. So you're gonna see him in this general vicinity right here. This is my worst case today. Packing the stacks of the packs. The stacks, packs, pack stacks. Here's everybody involved in pick your team number one. Thank you very much. If you have up one next to your name, we did that update pack and that means you won a team there in this six case or 36 total boxes. Should be about a couple hours or so. Okay, Thanks everyone get for getting in. Done with it swiftly. All right, and the X-Line, Last Bob Mojo with the Cardinals. So thanks everybody. And uh, so we, you can see the other cases right over here. I'm gonna pop this case open right here. You can see on this camera, yeah, you should be able to. And we'll see six boxes. We better. <laughs> Imagine if we didn't. There All right. Oh, yeah, time for these. <laughs> six. <laughs> There's six boxes right there. There we go. Here, I'll slice one for you. Okay. Do that. All right. And away we go. Rex is thinking this beanie looks like a great place to hide some snacks. Yeah, like a Pringles can could be right in there. We're going to put these all out right here. A Pringles can right there. Right here. Oh, oh, maybe some sour cream and onion Pringles in there. But not stacks though. I know, it's not fun stacks. Stacks. I just feel like I'm a dollar It's BS. That's, Pring uh, Pringles, that that's, I think that's Frito Lays, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what's everyone's take here? Stacks or Pringles? What do you, what do you prefer? I mean, it's just, it'd be like, yeah, it's like the same people like Stacks likes Pepsi. Gross. I can see that. I can see that. Oh, is there? Those are like plastic cans. The other one is like cardboard. Oh, maybe I'm hiding. Yeah. Um, let's do this. Let's let's stack it on top of here. Okay. And I'll just put these boxes on my camera right over here. Is that a little bit better, everybody? That should be better. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that. You can see the stacks. Want to make sure that that's that's see actually it. easier for me to slide the cards over too. Oh, right. So, sorry, Rex. Well, I, what was your joke from earlier? What do you call... You ready for this, Jason? Rex's joke. What do you call a serial killer that also likes to do case breaks? <laughs> a serial killer that likes to do... A serial breaker? A serial breaker? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, this is this is this is Rex's joke. So, Captain Crunch. Can I turn that? Oh, I guess I could turn this camera over. To me? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'll do it on the next one, Nick. <laughs> I think we'll just have have the stacks grow right here. A serial killer who likes to do case breaks, Jack the Ripper. All right, Rex. Is this a Rex original? This must be. That, that light is in the way. I want to move that camera a bit. If I move this light. And then can I move this camera? I don't know if the cord is long enough. Turn this box. To me. It's gonna focus on me. No. Just your hands. Am I in there? Am I there? Where did we have this this light before? I feel like. I don't know. See, like that, that post is in the way right there. Uh, want me to just move and turn it around? Uh, no, but we need that light, though. Yeah, we need that light. Well, you'll kind of see him, but more importantly, you'll see these stacks right here on both. What if I just it's, move it's, the stack it's, like uh, right here? Would that both be better No, we can just leave it right there. That's fine. Because then it's just easier for me to slide these cards over this way. Actually, but I'll take this top of this. 
All right, you'll still be able to see those cards right over here. That's the important part. Ah, Michael, so a filler is when we take those teams out of the break and then we sell them in a different way. So we do like a, we do like a pack break and then at the end we'll randomize everybody and then we give away those teams to the top X amount of people. So the advantage of that is we're just kind of dividing up the price of those teams. So maybe people didn't want to buy teams straight up, they could try to win their way in. Yeah. So there's a chance you might not get a team but there's a chance you can also get a team for a fraction of the price. There you go. Yeah, Rex, have you workshopped this joke with some of the other guys? What's the, what's the response from others? I feel like this is a pretty decent one. Yeah, no worries, Michael. Yeah, it's a chance to get a team for a fraction of the price. It's just a different level of risk. Oh man, wait, Nick saw that joke on X? Is, is Rex reusing jokes? <laughs> oh, come on Rex, you're like the, who's like a, I don't know, I don't follow comedy, but who's like a, who's like a common stealer of jokes? Carlos Mencia, maybe? Maybe Jim Gaffigan? And help you right here with this deck. Yeah, just leave that right there. It's fine. Oh, yep. Here's another box. Yeah, Amy Schumer. Joke stealer. Yeah, this Rex is saying it's original. Stack right, here. right there, so you can see the stack right there. All right, so we got some boxes opened up, so we can start flying through these. Thank you, and good luck, everybody. Case one. So these refractors, not numbered, by the way. I think if they're autographed, they'll be numbered. All cards ship, so I'm sure there'll be a a chance I may miss like a variation or something like that, but don't worry. Everything will ship. Hyper parallels, not numbered. This is numbered. Cody Bradford to 399. Corbin Carroll. Bradford will go to the Rangers. Stacy. Tristan Casas refractor. Dansby Swanson. And there's our first autograph. It should be how many a box? One, I believe. Yeah, one autograph per box. So there it is. Grant Anderson. Purple Chrome autograph for the Rangers. That's going to be for Stacy. 152 out of 250. Rex saying more than one person has to think the same joke at some point. I guess so. That's the old argument that if you had an infinite number of monkeys at a typewriter typing random randomly and if you give them an infinite amount of time that they will ultimately produce the same sonnet as Shakespeare 141 out of 199 Ben Joyce going to the Angels that'll be for Matt Arnold there's your AL rookie of the year Gunnar Henderson not numbered Orioles that'll be for Aaron Jordan Alvarez crushed insert. That looks pretty cool. Have there been any reports of debut patches being pulled anywhere? I have not heard any yet. Christopher, have you have you heard or seen anything on the social medias? Nope. The hunt is still out there. The cool thing with those is they're redemptions. Right. And they're supposed to look pristine, and you have the option to either get it shipped out to that's you. What, that's what we heard earlier today, yeah. Or you get them, uh, they all graded. 
So that's how prestigious and rare these cards are that they're confident that it is gonna look. I also wanna say, is Crush is a case hit? That's both Chad and Matt are saying that. It did look cool, it did look cool, it did look nice. Okay, so we'll look out for those. Thanks, guys. If you'd like, we'll go another box for you. Yes, give me a second here, there it is. Astros, that's gonna be for Jared. Sweet. Another box. Here we go. Braden Shoemake to 299. And we got an orange auto. Bryson Stott. Sweet. Nice. Phillies. That's for Sean Gola with the fight and fills. Eight out of twenty-five on that one. The Braden will go to Matt. And the Braves. Edward Julian. Got a Kenley Jansen. Photo negative. The uh, Rokio hiding back there. And the Colby Allard. All right, that was box two. Another box right here. And after I rip this box, we'll have the entire case here and over here. So that's case one. So right now we're approaching 13, the 13 minute mark. So we'll see how long it takes for us to complete our first case and then we'll have a better idea of what what our timing is going to look like. Anyone, uh, anyone else have an answer for Rex? Have we seen any debut patches being pulled? We see a redemption. That's probably a good sign. Maybe someone's seen something on the social medias. Yeah. I wonder what those are, uh, yeah. Do those, re are those redemptions, do they just look like normal blue redemptions? Or they, do they look like something special? So there's one of the boxes that I've ripped. Here's one of the boxes Chris ripped. Another box. Here we go. Okay, so the entire case is now on my is now going to be on my table right here. There you go. Can you find me a um, a blank card somewhere? Yeah, we had one uh, just in front of me. I have this one, but I don't want. I'm going to write on it, so I didn't want to oh, use that. One. Yeah. Okay. table felt weird because Jason was sitting. I gotta raise this table up a little bit higher. Right. 
There we go. And Brian Rocchio is our first autograph of this box. Purple speckle autograph. Going to the Guardians, Tristan with Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. It's a 299. That's too high. Oh, thank you. I know everyone's gonna be like, hey, what case are we on? We're on case two, or case one is done, so case two is coming up. Oh, here, here's a knife. Perfect. I can chop open case. Oh, thank you. Oh, and we got a Vinny Pascantino red. Three out of five. Here we go, everyone. Nice, that's a nice bold red color there too. Who's got the Royals? That's Stephen Carney with Kansas City. Stephen, nice rookie red to five out of fives and under. Get the world famous train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And we got some green, green Brian Rocchio, 41 out of 99. That'll be for Cleveland, that'll be for Tristan. And we got a rookie debut, Corbin Carroll. That's a rookie card for John Ryder. Let's see if we can find some some parallels of him. That'd be pretty awesome. Next box. There's Josh Young, 161 out of 399. Nice one for the Rangers. Had a really nice year. Might have been more in the hunt for rookie of the year if he hadn't lost like a month and a half to injury. That's going to go to Stacy and the Rangers. Well, the important thing is they won the World Series. Yeah, that's so. true. And hey, Julio Rodriguez, Future Stars autograph. Whoa. Patrick with the Mariners. Got the Mariners straight up. Sweet. Sophomore sensation. 20 out of 30. Nice. Nice. And uh, we will do an autograph recap at the end of the uh, video. So if you're watching the replay of this, you can go all the way to the end of this video. If you're watching live, you're stuck with us for six cases. <laughs> Here's Gunnar Henderson, rookie debut. Nice. That's a cool one. Like that parallel there. Your AL rookie of the year officially. That's going to go to Aaron and the O's. Bryce Miller, rookie debut to 125 for Patrick in Seattle. I think that was just a base, but he's our rookie of the year, so. And a nice Corbin Carroll. Uh, 80s design, refractor, 1988. This will go to Matt and the Braves. Be awesome to see that redemption. I, I know, that's kind around. of what I'm looking for. Well, we still have all these cases, so you, everyone, we're maximizing our chances, hopefully. 
Yeah, we wouldn't be the ones to say that we pulled it. Corbin Carroll is really the big rookie chase in this, Eric. And um, Henderson. Gunnar Henderson. I don't know who the update rookie would be specifically that we're looking for, though. Um, you know Bobby Miller's in this set. He wasn't in the first one. Bobby Miller. Zach Nito, maybe? Zach Nito, yeah. Got another Gunner. We got a purple Colby Allard to 250. That'll go to Matt and the Braves. Rex is also saying it would be interesting if they were signed before or after the patch was put. I would think they would do it after the patch was put in. Because there's so much that has to go into putting a patch into a card. Like if they had pre-signed it and then put the patch, it would probably damage the autograph. So I think they would definitely do it once the card is completed production. Trevor Williams to 150. For the Nats, that'll be for Jeremy. I would think. I don't know for sure. I'd be shocked if they did it the other way, though. And there is George Soriano. Sweet. Rookie autograph for the fish. Jared with the Marlins. Good stuff. Wait, do these Topps Chrome update cards also count for the buyback program? I think it was just the... Matthew Batten to 299. Original ones. It's the original Topps Chrome? The first series. Gotcha. Oh, all card ship, so Angels and... I'm assuming it'll be Angels Braves. But all card ship, so you'll get, you'll get all that. And there's Blake Perkins. Rookie auto for the Brew Crew. This will be for Kevin and the Brewers. Got the Brewers straight up. They already started airing a Christmas story too early. It's November. Uh, wait until after Thanksgiving, people. Well, Christmas is in 40 days. You know? It's like, come on. It's gonna come by just like that. Keep the Christmas spirit alive early. That's too early though. Nah. Right now it's too early. We gotta get out. We gotta get. Gotta get Thanksgiving out of the way first. In my homeland, they start playing Christmas music in the month of August. Too early. Way too. <laughs> it's even. That's even. That's. That's way too early. I I disagree with that. Yeah, I think it's a little excessive. Ooh, nice Corbin Carroll refractor All Star game. Oh, nice. Elf is on for 24 hours on this Friday or Black Friday? It's this Friday, too early. All right, case one in the books. All right, first box of case two. Yeah, almost there. Box, box two for case two. This Friday? That's way too early, Eric Jennings. And box two, case two. Uh, JJ Blade to two ninety nine for the A's. That'll be for D Y.
Rex is glad that Will said no to the sequel. You buddies with Will Ferrell? I think, think he's just first name basis. Rex is just like, yeah, Will said didn't want to do it unless they were going to do it right. Rex's buddies. That's right, Michael, six cases. That's what we got help with. A, is this a case hit or a short print dominance? Here's Riley Green, nice. Blue Ray Wave, nice. That's gonna be for Lorenzo in Detroit, nice. 56 out of 150. And we'll save this for Patrick just in case. That's a case as well, thank you Patrick, that's for you. Congrats, that looks nice, dominance. Julio Rodriguez. That looks sharp. Guys <laughs> go Rex goes way back. There's crushed. Francisco Alvarez. So that's another one. Another short print. That case maybe hit. maybe they'll f maybe they fall a little more than one per case, but I'll take it. Mets. Stacy won the Mets in the filler. Another case two one. So Chad saying crush dominance. Let's. Let's go, Radiant Rookie, Expose are all case hits. Well, we got two case hits in this one, ladies and gentlemen, in the same box. Corbin Carroll, Rookie Debut. Hey Siri, Jose Siri, 24 out of 99. That'll be for Eric and the Tampa Bay Rays. And there's our autograph, Rookie Auto Bryce Miller for Patrick and the M's. Nice. Thank you for the sources, Chad. Yeah, that's according to Beckett. We'll tell Beckett we saw two in one box. All right, onwards. You will not be telling Beckett that, okay. There we go. It's another box. There's an action stars, Corbin Carroll, Gunnar Henderson, and our autograph, Max Castile. Royals rookie autograph going to Stephen Carney. And a refractor Corbin Carroll. This is the kind of stuff we want to see. John Ryder got the Diamondbacks straight up in this six case break. Officially your NL rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. Alvin finished third, I think. Who was second? The NL? Was it Vaughn? No. It was... And, uh, who else Dylan Moore to 125. They, maybe they put Gabriel Moreno in there. Um, Any remember no, who finished race. second? Maybe Michael Harris. Yeah. Well, Michael Harris won it last year. When are they announcing MVP this weekend? Tomorrow? Today's Cy Young. Cy Young, right? Tomorrow is uh, MVP. And maybe the MVP can make a decision. <laughs> I know, it's pretty easy with choosing, right? Yeah. Maybe after that, Otani decides what team he wants to play for. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, they all they all turned down their qualifying offer, which is a joke. Yeah. 
20 million dollars. I mean, people. That's so embarrassing. Players rarely. Imagine Otani's like, it. you know what? I am worth that. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's like, I am worth that. Imagine if he didn't know his worth. He's like, okay. That's a 399 Randy Vasquez. You guys used to pay me five. Yankees. Probably makes like 20 million like, on endorsements. Like half a year. Yeah. yeah endorsements in Japan, probably. His New Balance. Yeah, the, how much is New Balance paying him? New Balance, if you're listening, they're, they're like, we, we'll take your shoes. Yeah, but another customer that comes here that's also from, from Japan, he's like, bro, you don't understand how much money he makes over there. I'll, I'll bet. Again, New Balance, he goes, he's in everything over there. Yeah. I was like, damn. I was like, some money's not a problem. <laughs> but the marketing would be easier if you were to go to our squad. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Chad, do you have... That's why we pay those thirty dollars enchiladas. We finally find out literally anything about Wander. Fr Are we getting a Wander Franco report on Friday? Finally, dude. They haven't found anything, bro. It's messed up. Dang. So it's that's good for the hobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just sucks because it tainted his career. And this stuff is never gonna be the same no more. So. Unless he bats five hundred. <laughs> right. Do something crazy. Yeah. Oh, is that the date when Major League Baseball is gonna do a make a decision? Chat on what they're gonna do with him. Good for them on making a decision by then. Look at how they handled Trevor Bauer. We got a pink Eric Hosmer to 399 for the Cubs. It'll be for Darren. And Dominic Fletcher. Ooh. For a second, I thought it was going to be someone else. But John with the Diamondbacks. Dominic Fletcher, Fletcher, rookie blue. That is to 150. 51 out of 150 on that autograph. Uh -huh. Grab a box right here. That is Jason in the chat chat. He's on the back computer right behind me. All right, so final two boxes. I've got one right here. Chris is finishing up that. Final two boxes of the case. Then I'm gonna move on to case three. Nice, so we're at the 33 minute mark, so we're flying through these. What do I like to hear? We were been practicing. flying through these. We've been practicing. Efficacy, speed, precision. Yeah, the, in the Wander situation, Chad, yeah, there's just been zero information. Yeah, the only thing's been some suspicious online posts. But the, his home country, I feel like, said they were investigating, but they haven't released any information either. I don't know if that's good or bad, but they're investigating too. So, who knows? It'd be nice to have some clarity, one way or the other. So you would figure that some of the information they probably downloaded out of the by now. You would think so. Right, it's like, oh, reporting TMZ sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, yeah. Here we go. We got another case opening up right now. Right, yeah. They, they were investigating four months ago. I don't know how long investigations take. You know? <laughs> maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's a comprehensive investigation. Who knows? Three, four, five. Six. Here is, so this is the final two boxes of case two. Good luck, everyone. We got a Taj Bradley to two ninety nine. Out. 
Let's see, okay. just Corbin yeah. Carroll. And Oscar Gonzalez is your autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. <laughs> I feel like that will always be a timeless uh, quote. Tristan with that one. <laughs> Michael said he heard there was a Pirates debut patch pulled and it was live. So I guess some of them are live. SpongeBob? SpongeBob? Another red? Red auto? Wow. Five out of five. Red autograph. Bryson Stott. Wow. Bold out. Nice NLCS. That's Sean G with the Phillies. And the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. That is nice. Sweet. Yeah, nice little color match too. Matches up with the team. I dig that. Got a Gio Urshela to three ninety nine for the Halos. That'll be for Matt Arnold. Another Corbin Carroll, rookie debut. And we got a Hunter Brown Aqua, 165 out of 199 for Houston. That'll be for Jared. Jake Odorizzi, 41 out of 175. Rangers, that's going to be for Stacy. Parallels here. All right, so that's case two. Here's the first box of case three. And Michael Tola is our autograph. Rookie auto for the Rocks. Tristan and the Rockies. Two ninety-three out of four ninety-nine. So, in my opinion, DNA is offering the bounty for Volvi. Do you think Volvi sell better than say Gunnar or Corbin? Yeah, yeah, probably. You have to think about how many uh, rabid Yankees fans there are versus the Diamondbacks market and the Baltimore market. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he might not even have to perform as well as Corbin Carroll, but he might sell better than Corbin Carroll. We got a gold Rich Hill. 
little bit of a color match too. 15 out of 50. That's what we get for talking about him. <laughs> he pops up. Oh yeah, we were talking about him a little bit earlier. He's old. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm still in the league. Look at me. He's like, look at me. Yeah, I'm still getting baseball you know, cards. I'm numbered out of 50 like my age. Yeah. Actually, I think that like, should be numbered as 75 because that's how fast it goes. All right, X line in the house. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Getting there. Couple packs. The oh. Pressure's on. No worries. We're waiting on you. No worries. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Next box, case three. X line in the house saying, "What up, sexy Rexy?" And JJ Blade, nice. Aqua Wave Autograph. Rookie auto for the A's. DY. Former top five pick, maybe? From the Marlins. It's their number one overall pick, but anyway. To 199. He's an athletic now. X-Line, how are you? Are you in this one? Oh, you have the Cardinals. Is there a Cardinal auto? I don't remember. We'll do a recap at the end of this. There's Dylan Dodd to 399. Miguel Castro. It's been a lot of Jordan Walker, Nolan Gorman, like base and refractors, but we have not seen anything numbered from those guys, which is kind of what I want to see. And there's Cody Bradford, 40, uh, 54 that is, out of 75. Yellow mini diamond, that's going to be for Stacy and the Rangers, the world champions. Grab a box right here. Yeah, we were talking a little Cardinals baseball earlier at X Line. What, what are the, what are their off season goals? Getting no only warm into bat. 290 next season. We got a lot of good hits. Yeah, I heard, yeah, I, I've definitely heard that maybe two starters, maybe. Two like frontline starters is what the Cardinals might go for. Mm -hmm. Snell might be one of those guys. Trades are possibilities as well. Perhaps. Maybe they're the ones who get Portland burned. Yeah, it's possible. I don't know if the Brewers are trade to a rival, but who knows. Well, the prospects are right. Or if the, the trade makes sense. Yeah, Josh saying lineup's too good. Too good to go. The pitching though, abysmal. They gotta clean that up. All right, so we've got 
two boxes, two more boxes from case three here. Good luck, everybody. And away we go. We got Brett Wisely to 150 for my rivals, the Giants, Zachary with the Gigantes. Got a Corbin Carroll rookie debut. <laughs> And the Vinny Pascantino autograph. Royals, Stephen Carney. Yeah, that's fine, guys. Let's just check out. Yeah. Yes. I get to help you with that There's Eddie Rosario to 175. Michael Bush to 199. And Logan Allen. Purple Chrome Autograph. 25 out of 250. That's for Tristan and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. We got Wandy Peralta to 250. Purple Chrome. Another box down. Another box ready for you. Corbin Carroll. Not that action stars might have been numbered. Is Juan Soto getting traded this offseason, ladies and gentlemen? There's been some rumblings. And Cleveland, this is for you. Xavier Curry. For Tristan and the Guardians. All right, moving on to our fourth case, ladies and gents. Right here. And a Corbin Carroll rookie debut hyper parallel. Empty. 
This is the final box. And we've got Tommy Listella, 21 out of 50. Gold mini diamonds for Patrick and Seattle. You know what? I think it was Kodai Senga who was second. Mm. In NL Rookie of the Year voting. That would make sense. He did fantastic this year. Yeah, so it was Carol who won it, then it was Senga, and then it was uh, James oh, okay. Altman was third, yeah. I think Corbin Carroll got all the first place votes, though. Yeah, Jeter did recently donate a bunch of money to his childhood home. There's Blake Sable. Giants, that's going to be for Zachary. Tommy LaSalle, Chad Dawes, favorite player. Another Corbin Carroll. And we got a blue Joey Ortiz. 50 out of 150 Orioles, Aaron. And we got a Zach Neto, nice. 96, 98 out of 199, rookie debut, Aqua. Angels, Matt Arnold. One of the ones a lot of people are looking for. Nice. All right, so here's the first box. Oh, almost there. Here's the first box of... Case mm -hmm. four. And it is good to go. Hmm. Every offensive signing last year was just terrible. Or I just I just want a big name bad that comes to and doesn't suck. I don't know, is that, whose fault is that? Is it the GM's fault? Is it the way the stadium is set up? Like what, what's the deal? Maybe bring in the, bring in the fences. Trivia time, what MLB player played for the most teams and how many? It's a pitcher. And it's, it's, it's 18. 18? Yeah, it's like some relief pitcher. They blame it on the marine layer. Jamie Moyer. Los Angeles has a marine layer. Oh, hi, Nick. It's not Jamie Moyer. It's not? No. Rich Hill. <laughs> Rich Hill might be getting close, actually. Is it a relief pitcher? I think it's a relief pitcher. Supposedly a relief. Craig <laughs> no, I think he, no, not Craig Kimbrell. That's a good pick. Do you know the answer or you're just guessing? Rex asked the question. I, I don't know. I just don't know the name. Rex, you better So you thing. confirmed that it was not Jamie Moyer without knowing it? Because I know it's not Jamie Moore. You once, played on like 10 teams? Once Rex says the name, I'm going to be like, yep, that's How are you it. I don't believe Rex. He's not a source. He's, he, a, he's trying to bait you. He played for the Dodgers for one year, too. A couple years. He might have started with the Dodgers, I think. It's Edwin Jackson. Yes, Eric Jennings. You got it. One more. 
Uh, 14 teams in 17 seasons. I was wow. a little off on the seasons. He must just like travel. Yeah, Edwin Jackson started with the Dodgers, I think. Then he went to the Rays, and then he just bounced around almost twice a year at some point. Once a year, once a year, 14 teams in 17 seasons. You remember Dodger legend Edwin Jackson? Dodger legend? Did he have a bobblehead knife? Put, put, some, <laughs> put some respect on his name. Did he have a bobblehead knife? Put some respect on his name. His hat collection must be amazing. I know Andre Jackson, who just got traded from the flash here. Old Edwin Jackson, yeah, played for the Dodgers for a couple seasons. He started his career with the Dodgers for a couple seasons. Rays from 06 to 08, then R Tigers 09, Diamondbacks 10, White Sox 10 and 11, then to the Cardinals in 11, Nationals in 12, Cubs for two seasons, 13, maybe three seasons, 13, 14, 15, half a season in 15, went to the Braves in 15. But split time between the Marlins and Padres in 16. Split time between the Orioles and Nationals in 17. A's in 18. Blue Jays in 2019. And the Tigers in 19. One-time All-Star in 2009 with the Tigers. And a World Series champion with the White Sox in 2011. So, and a no-hitter in 2010. So put some respect on Edwin Jackson's name. Good for him. At least you could say he saw the U.S. Yeah. He's a righty. Yeah, I mean, who knows, Michael? Yeah, maybe a baby mama in every one of those cities. That's possible. Very well traveled. A lot of, well, a lot of, a lot of short-term leases. Well culture. Uh, a lot of short-term leases in a lot of uh, cities. And here's Brandon Fott. Purple speckle for John and the Diamondbacks. Oh, oh, well, he, sorry, yeah. World Series champion of the Cardinals in 2011. Sorry, he spent half a season with them. I'm sure that was that put him over the top, right? 197 out of 299. Did he make the World Series roster? There's Michael Fulmer, purple chrome to 250, Cubs. Rex has another trivia question here. One more. How many players in MLB history have played for one team and which team had the most? Very players at team? Are you saying how many teams had players, that, the most players that played for them their entire career? Hey, later. Hey, okay, see you, Jeff. Um, the captain. 20 years, huh? No, Rex is asking how many players have played for one team. Oh, for one team. Right? And then how many teams have the most players that play with them for their entire careers? That's a two-headed question. That's it is a two-headed question. Rex doesn't know how to ask trivia questions. Yeah. So you should start with the first one and then so you can't do Jeopardy. And then do the second one, yeah. You can't do Jeopardy Elite on us. So, how many players in history have played for one team? How many players in history have I say have a great I say 15. Five. See Evan. See Here's a crushed Gunnar Henderson, a short print. <laughs> Goes to Aaron Billingsley in the O's. Nice. Beautiful. That is a sharp looking card. That is so sharp. That is way so off, like too high or too low. And there's your autograph. Matt Olson, nice. Braves. Matt Johnson. Refractor style. It's a three digit number? All right, 150. I forgot the zero. Action stars Corbin Carroll. Right, yeah, Michael forgot the one, too. 111, yeah. We're on the same page, Mike. We got Jake Irvin to 399 for the Nats. Uh, 
Chad went way too high. 250. It's between 188 and 190. One, uh, one 189. And a half. All right. Here's another box from case four. And another box from case four. Sure it is. Working on the rest of it. All right, good luck. We got Alec Burleson, Burley Burleson. Aqua Wave Autograph. That's for the X line. Last spot mojo strikes again 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. It's 95 out of 199. All right, there's a gold Brandon Williamson, 42 out of 50. Reds, Justin with the Reds. Never thought that many players play for one team. Yeah, I was just going to say that. I was like, there could be just a lot of players who just played for one season with a team and then never played again. So now what's the, yeah, it's got to be Yankees, right? Any of the old teams. Mm -hmm. Dodgers, Yankees, Giants, Reds, Red Sox. It's Yankees with the most. It is. There you go. There's Joey Weimer to 125. This up, right? Almost right, pre-free agency, there was yeah, there wasn't as much player movement. A lot of a lot of players stayed with a single team. And there's Donovan Solano to 199 for the Twins. That's for Tristan. And there's a Corbin Carroll All Star Game Refractor. Nice. That's for John and the Diamondbacks. Corbin Carroll Future Stars insert. That must, that's gotta be a variation, right? That Bryce Turing. Sure there's been some others, but there's Jason DeLay. That goes to Stephen Carney and the Pirates. Jason, Jason Rain Delay. There's Bryce Turang, Kevin. And a Sam Hilliard Green, 23 out of 99. And that, those last two boxes are the case, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Trying to help you get through this swiftly, but also efficacy. And there's another one. And another box. Awesome. And on to the next case, case five. All right, good luck. 
It's a Volpe Rookie Debut Refractor. Save some of those. No debut patch production yet? No. Where's what we're looking for? I'm hoping to see one. That'd be sweet to witness it. You, stay, you guys gotta stay here until I'm cold. Until, yeah, we gotta, keep, we gotta keep breaking case until we find one, ladies and gentlemen. All so right, cool. I'm good. I'm Jaspiescasebreaks.com, get into it. I like how you can submit it for Retreat. free for grading. Yeah, I thought, that's, that's, like a, that's a great, great concept. It's like a cool concept. It's interesting, though, that the Breakers Delight ones are live. Right. That, that's a delight for breakers, I think. I guess because it's protected by that plastic. The, yeah, the slider box. I agree. Got a lot of breakers to light in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got another six caser in the store as well. Ben Joyce. That goes to Matt Arnold and the Angels. 136 out of 150. Kevin Kelly, 399. These are hobby, these are hobby boxes. Maybe they better, Eric Jennings. And we've got a Oswaldo Cabrera. That's cool. rookie on card auto for the Yankees, Matt Smith. Tristan Casas to 299 for the Bow Sox. That's going to be for Patrick. One then in the filler, and that is that for case four. Sorting and chipping team will top load all of those. A lot of nice parallels. And here's the first box of, case of five. the first case. We'll grab a box as well. We'll put a, put a couple on the desk here. Anybody here from the shop going to the AEW event in LA? Christopher's a wrestling guy. Uh, Both Chris's in our shop are actually. I'm not a fan of AEW anymore. Not a fan of AEW. Yeah, they AEW. got. Yeah. What did they do to you? They got rid of my favorite guy, CM Punk. What? I'm sorry, I'm a CM Punk guy. Don't apologize. Uh, it's true. You like what you like. The only. You like who you like. The only thing I'm. Uh, uh, okay. It's true. I like what I like. You know? And I'm sorry for those of you that the only people that you like are the ones who are softer than you, is what CM Punk said wow. <laughs> about the, the guys that he hates wow. about that business. And I thought it was fact. Where, where is it? Wow. This is controversial. I, I have no idea who this guy is, but Josh Eckstein saying CM Punk is a B. Nah, that's the young folks in Kenny Omega. T. They could have made good money fighting each other, but they're too chicken sh Whoa. Yeah. Fighting words. Oh, they're at the forum. Forum, well, they redid the forum. He's just really nice. He's a cancer, but he's still the biggest draw. 
The shirt sales are still number one for him. That speaks facts and volumes. Wrestling talk, ladies and gentlemen. Money creates con or controversy creates cash. What does CM stand for? CM. For CM? <laughs> That's no. it? He's a chick magnet. Oh, chick magnet. Got it. Got it. I was thinking like comet monster. Although I must say when it comes to AEW, I will support Dan Housen. Funny guy. Getting there, folks. All right, Josh. Uh, question for you: Since you do watch AEW, who is the Mass Devil? Who do you think it is? Just some mystery guy attacking people every week. And what? He hasn't revealed himself. What? Probably CM Punk. That would be great. <laughs> That'd be a good plot twist. After he just got fired publicly, right? Right. Comes back with a vengeance. You might be getting another form of income for breaking. My 14 year might be getting a bag job at the store. Thought about telling him that, yeah. There's Spencer Steer, he had a nice season last year. Cincinnati Red, you should, Rex. Tell him that's how unions work. You gotta kick up paychecks up there. Absolutely. You gotta kick paychecks up the ladder. I love it. You know our trash can is getting uh, Justin with the Reds. When the, when the empty packs are flying out of it because there's no more space. We got some green Omar Navarez, four out of 99 for the Metropolitan. Stacy with the Mets. X line saying Jungle Boy or Adam Cole. There's I don't another dipshit I can't understand. There's Sorry, a JP Sears. Uh, Jungle you, Boy. You just got us canceled, Christopher. I'm sorry. If we get kicked off of YouTube, it's gonna be on you. Sorry, Jason. And the business, business tank, and then we'll. I won't go. I and won't then we'll be selling vet commons underneath the bridge, just I trying won't to get by. Use Jason's example anymore. Unbelievable. No, this thing with Jungle Boy, he says that uh, he doesn't need advice from veteran wrestlers, and he oh, he knows it all. To, he likes to use real glass when he fights. He knows it all. And he wants to go through real glass. Really, it's dangerous. Do you not value your life? It's Wandy Peralta to 175 for the Yankees. I would not recommend that. Imagine we were gonna have a, a scripted fight and we're supposed to go through real glass. It's like using like a real chainsaw to hit somebody. Scripted? Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, is that a spoiler? That's not, that's not scripted, it's all real, right? Mm -hmm. Seth Lugo to 399. The injuries are real. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> the bell's getting ready for something. The bell's ready for something, yeah. What's the bell ready for? For for Bellinger. There it is. Cody oh, Bellinger. Bell. Yeah, Bellinger's right there. Oh, uh, look at all these packs that are in. Oh. Yeah, you can change that out if you want to. I think you can make it work. Can, you can put can some more in there. I'm using it as an airbag. I feel like we can get some, some air out of there, too. Go. Yeah, Jungle Boy is Luke Perry's son, in case you were wondering. Like 90210 Luke Perry? Yeah. Really? Looks like him too, except with curly long hair. There's Bryce Miller. Purple speckle for Seattle Patrick. Got the Mariners straight up, 233 out of 299. Luke Perry's kid. Yeah. 
Is Luke Perry still with us? No, I think he's dead a long I time think, ago. Yeah, right? He died a while ago. Celtics Sixers game still pretty close. Celtics all up by four in the fourth, 8.45 left. After that, Sacramento Kings lost. Ryan Yarbrough to 250. Is that an ESPN game? Yeah, but I'd like to watch it on the I'd like to watch it on the. Better luck. Right. Try to watch it on our home channel. They play better on our home channel when I'm watching it on that. ESPN just likes to bash them for whatever reason. Yeah. I know, I gotta get with the times. I just not. Usually I'm keeping track of Luke Perry. You know, I've got Luke Perry built into my browser search. I'm always keeping tabs on him, but I, just that one time I forget. There's Casey Schmidt, 90 out of 499. That goes to Zachary and the Giants. There's Vaughn Grissom to 150, blue. Wow, what is a Riverdale? Excellent, I don't know what it is. I know, I know the, uh, I know Rivendale, the home of the elves in Lord of the Rings, I've heard of that. The ancestral home of the elves of Middle-earth, Ovs. Favorite all-time movie, Joe? Favorite all-time movie? Yes, pressure's on. Oh, that's too much pressure. Probably... Probably... Hmm. Probably The Godfather. Okay. okay. One and two. Combine that as one movie. And we got a Corey Jilks. 32 out of 50. Some gold for the Strohs. Jared. Oh, nice. The show Riverdale's on CW. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do not have a teenage daughter. I, I, I don't know any CW shows. There's Andrew Benintendi, 14 out of 99. White Sox, that'll be for Tristan. Um, a lot of my uh, a lot of my friends are have uh, are having kids, so I I guess I, I know like kids shows. Like there's like the dump truck show. There's like Animals in the sea who are like policing the sea. I know shows like that. My favorite uh, child friendly show is South Park. South Park, yeah. <laughs> and there's Oswaldo Cabrera. Refractor autograph. Nice. 132 out of 499. Matt Smith. Sweet. Uh, what day is this? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Vanessa told me to use this one. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday. Thank you. Uh, well, awesome. well, there's a nice Yoshida rookie debut refractor. Okay. All right. Ah, the X-Line's the cool dad. I see. Cool dad X-Line letting his daughter watch Rivendale or Riverdale. On the CW, letting his 15-year-old watch South Park. Probably letting him stay up late. That's what cool dads do. You know, maybe lets him eat ice cream for breakfast. 
Sure, stay up late, watch the R-rated movie. It's cool, cool Dad X line. Moving on to our final case. Nice. Right We're making great time. We're only an hour and 20 in. I just wanted to you Excellent. Know, help you out. Yeah. Brian, no, I pre that's why you're here. And also made you release proud. Wednesday. We're not gonna be here for three hours no, with the no. time. The, We're gonna cut it in half. Yeah, cut that in half. That would've been three hours, I guess, if I did it myself. 33 out of 50, Brian's servant, Gold Auto. That goes to Tristan in the Rockies. I have not seen The Godfather. I think I have seen The Godfather in sequential order. I think they did that one year as like on AMC, like it was like a Thanksgiving AMC special or something like that. And they did do The Godfather in sequential order. Guys. And I think I, I think I watched that then, but not with, uh, and there's, they actually did like a, a cut of that movie in sequential order, I want to say. By the way, what was that you asked, guys? What was my favorite movie? Oh, okay. I'll be oh, glad yeah. to share that. <laughs> just ignored Christopher. <laughs> we just moved on. Yeah, not, not, no longer the X line, Josh. You are now cool, Dad. Mine is actually the Sandlot. Sand, you're, of all the movies, Sandlot's all your favorite? Sandlot. Is it, oh, wait, no, this is the last box of five. Of five. I'm on six after this. I can't cross that out yet. What, what else does Cool Dad X-Line, what else does Cool Dad do? Sandlot. I do love Sandlot, but. Either that or it's Halloween, the 1978 one. Wow, 19, all right, we're getting a feel for, for Christopher's movie tastes here. Yeah, or if not, it'll be the sound of music. Sound of music's great. I do love the sound of music. Sometimes you forget how long that movie is. That whole wedding sequence just takes forever. Or the fact that they're hiding you know? from. Just yeah. like, yeah, that'll, just when you the think the movie's over, yeah, you're just like, wait, there's another hour and a half to uh -huh. this? Or like all of a sudden they're They gotta escape, they gotta do this. Josh Exline, Cool Dad. Oh, Cool Dad maybe lets, uh, Maybe lets the kids have a sip of beer when they're on vacation. Whoa, 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 I think whoa. that teenage kid, maybe cool dad's like, here, you can have a sip while we're on the river. Drink on responsibly, not resp and responsive. Mm. Maybe that's what cool dad does. And here's a Braden Shoemate, Gold Wave. Gold Wave Autograph, Matt, with Atlanta. Twenty-five out of fifty. Matt Johnston with that one. There's Logan Allen to one twenty-five. Joe, my cool dad let me watch uh, Full Metal Jacket when I was in uh, middle school, and that haunted me. That, 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 that was a haunting one. That was a rough movie. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I was de definitely way too, in perspective. way too young. That's up there as one of my favorite movies, too. All right, we're on the final case, K6. In the box. Grab a box right here as well. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 
Jason Tatum, pretty good. Can we win the big one finally? We'll see. That's right, Harry Jennings. I, that, that I knew. Arlie em Emery, no longer. Ermy? Emery, no longer with us. He had, he, had some, he had a few great shows on the History Channel or something like that. Jay Rez, any plans for multi-jumbo case breaks? Not sure. We'd have to ask Nick Jaspi. Is Nick still out there? I just see uh, Jason. No, just Jason. I don't know. For now, we have these. Jumbo would be sweet to rip open though, but those are just thick, uh, thick stacks on it. Those stack up. Yeah, I knew he was in the military, so he was actually a drill sergeant in real life as well? In the military? I don't know if I knew that. Maybe I did. Here's box two, and here's box three. So we got half of the last case on my desk right now. Good luck, everybody. And away we go. Let's see if we can maybe get another train whistle out of here before. That would be awesome. In this last case one here. One ooh, here. Ooh, a one of one, maybe one of the MLB debuts. Yeah. Or That'd maybe nice. the exclusives to tops that's gonna have the auto chrome. That'd be nice. We got it's like a black and white. We got Jose Buto, 184 out of 199, Aqua Wave autograph, Stacy with the Mets. in Sandlot is like in jail. Really? Yeah. After his after his acting career, I think he became like a a firefighter or something like that. And then in his neighborhood during Halloween, there apparently a story had gotten out that like someone was like following kids or putting things in kids' bags or something like that, and they mistakenly saw a dude and beat him up almost to death. <laughs> then he went to jail. Wow. Yeah. So he tried to defend the street. Defy, but, but identified the wrong person. Yeah. Okay. Got a little, got a little too defensive. Oh wow. Reminds me of the story of uh, Cain Velasquez when he tried to go after somebody, the, the cousin. Yeah, but he had a good reason, right? He did. They ended up shooting the dad while he was. <laughs> and everybody was like, "Yeah, you're cool, bro." Ken Waldachuk, purple speckle autograph. For the A's, that's gonna go to D.Y. 52 out of 299. There's Andrew Nardi to 175. Joey Wendell, 65 out of 399. <laughs> you want to see my war face? Ah! That's my war face. Show me your war face. 
That's not a war face, this is a war face. What is this? It's a jelly donut, sir. A jelly donut. Oh, that sounds good right now. There is a good donut shop right up the street. Really? What's it called? It's called Big. Best Donuts. Oh. Uh -huh. It's Fairchild, 169 out of 299. Cincinnati Reds, Justin. What would you, what would, how would you describe your perfect donut? My perfect donut, circle, with a hole in it. Any flavor? Um, and chocolate, maybe maybe a, a coating of chocolate on one half. Okay. Yeah. I don't really eat a lot of donuts. There's Same. Dylan Dodd. Same. But I'm cool with an old fashioned. I don't even know what the, I don't even know donut types. That's how little I eat donuts. 54 out of 150. The plain. Matt, oh, okay. And there's like, there's like a, like a raptor claw or a bear claw donut. What are those? Oh, those are just the ones that you can buy from the packs hmm. um, at the store. I don't know, there's all sorts of donuts that I just don't understand. Some, some people are just like, oh yeah, like a super triple bear claw, triple stripe this and it would, you know, this and that. And I'm like, what? It's like a crazy coffee order. Like, I don't, I don't know what that's, I don't know what's going on there. Two boxes, and then Chris is working on the last box. Nice. This is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for fight, and this is for fun. Now, uh, now you got Full Metal Jacket sucking my head, Eric Jennings. There's Brewer Hicklin, green, 31 out of 99 for Kansas City. Okay. And it's for Stephen Carney. Got a Oswaldo Cabrera on card autograph from Matt Smith and the Yankees. Philadelphia has some fight left in them. Every time they boss looks like they're pulling away in this basketball game, he comes back. Yeah, Sixers down by five. We'll put 136 though. Running out of time. We got Brandon Fott, 399. John with the Diamondbacks. We got some orange coming up. That's orange, little color match. Orange Brett Beatty. 13 out of 25. Matches that Mets trim there. That's gonna be for Stacy and the Metropolitans. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to announce. Wow, nice. They're open. Good job, Christopher, thank you. There's Todd Bradley Ooh. autograph, Eric Leal, 
with the Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, next year. Should I ask them that blockbuster question? Yeah, ask them the blockbuster question. Tell them the people that's what the people want. Or at least one person. Hyunjin Ru, 61 out of 75, yellow parallel for the Bluebirds. Stacy. We only have, as of now, Hobby and Delight. All right, well, that's there, there's your uh, answer, J Rez. We only have Hobby and Breakers Delight in stock. Thanks, Nick. Yes. So, so, obviously, can't post any jumbo multi case breaks. I'll just toss these out for you, all these uh, cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Actually, I'll slice them. Yeah, be sure to break those down. All right, final box. Final autograph, final set of uh, parallels, all cards ship. I think the sorting and shipping team is pretty well caught up, so they'll be able to get a start on this maybe as early as tomorrow. It'll still take a little extra time than usual, so be patient, but they'll get there. And our last auto is Yeri De Los Santos. Rookie on-card auto for the Pirates, Stephen Carney with Pittsburgh. All right, now let's see if we can find maybe a one of one, an out of five, a bonus auto maybe out of here. We got a Pete Alonzo crushed short print. Nice, that'll be for Stacy and the Mets. Won that team in the filler. We got a Matthew Batten down the hatches, 21 out of 99. Padres, that'll be going to Andrew. Jansen is the final card of the break. There you go, gang. Appreciate everybody making this happen. Thanks for getting in. Quick little recap. Big thanks to Christopher for helping out here as well. You are very welcome. This was awesome. A lot of, a lot of nice hits. We got some train whistles, some nice short prints. That Bryson Stott out of five was pretty sharp. That dominance insert looked really cool too. Julio Rodriguez autograph, another out of five. Another Bryson Stott orange this time. A lot of great stuff. There you go. Thanks everyone for watching and breaking with us. That was 2023 Topps Chrome Update Baseball Hobby Six Case Break Pick Your Team One. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye bye.